Hello friends and enemies. Welcome to or back to Happy For Now. It's me Isabel here with a fun recommendation video for you today. So I figured with the long weekend coming up in the States, I would share some fun books that you could read over that long weekend. Because here's the thing, I also have books I'm reading, which I will share also during this because I know you want to know what I'm picking up <laughs> over the long weekend as far as the bonkers titles go. So yeah, I decided to break this down into two categories for y'all because I know, I know not everyone is a bonkers reader like me and I know that some of y'all are looking for just some fun things to read. So we'll ha talk about the normal books and we'll talk about the bonkers books and we'll talk about the mix of books I'm hoping to start on that weekend, or this weekend. It's this weekend, it's coming up. So yeah, my goal here is short fun books that you could read over the weekend easily in a day and or that'll help you hit your reading goal quickly. Uh, I'll have some more recs for that later, probably in December, but for now, just kind of give you a head start on making sure you've already hit that reading goal. All right, first up, we have a trilogy that I read last year and loved, the Fines Family Trilogy. This features three uh, Black authors and three Black romances, writing a family saga over the holiday season. So this is one is a friends with benefits who met through family friends and there's just kind of a game they have going on with their uncle Rico that is really fun. This has like slight forbiddenness because family friends really really fun. Then we have Thank You Next by Nicole Falls who I also adore. I like all of these authors so this was an easy read for me. This one is Friends to Lovers and then the last one Thank Me Later by Christina C. Jones my girl. I adore her. I'm obsessed with her. I might be in love with her a little bit. It's fine. This one also was a fantastic read. I really can't recommend this little trilogy enough. They're all under like 60 pages I think. Literally you could read all three of them in a day and you're gonna have a good time. They're steamy, they're sweet, and they're short. Like they pack all the things you want into a novella right there. So if you have not picked up this trilogy yet, please do. And also it's a wonderful way to try three potentially new to you black authors uh, writing fantastic black romances. Next we have Jackie Lau's A Match for Thanksgiving. She has a whole series that kind of called The Holiday with the Wongs that follows this whole family's saga. This is the first book technically set during Canadian Thanksgiving, but that doesn't mean you can't read it during the American one in which, you know, we're just celebrating good food and seeing people, not, not the gross part. Anyways, this is a delight because, because this, it's so funny. Like this one is so funny to me because the family, like the grandparents and the parents decide to set each of their kids up with dates for the Thanksgiving dinner and it's them all going awry and then the following books follow those kids finding dates for each event so that their parents don't repeat this. And it's all like rom-com set up. So like once a second chance. It, it's so funny. Like it is laugh out loud funny. Very very fun silly read. Highly highly recommend this if you've not tried these yet. I'm hoping to read the Christmas one this year. I'm kind of just reading them slowly over time and I've enjoyed every one so far in the series. Usually Jackie also does a sale on the box set around the holidays so you have a potential to just grab that box set and slowly chip away at it because literally they're so fun. The next one I think is Lunar New Year and then I think there's there might be a Valentine's Day one. I'm not sure but this uh a match made for Thanksgiving. I giggled my way through this book. Then we have Meet Me in Los Feliz by Kelly Reynolds. I really liked this book. I read it last year. It starts around Thanksgiving. This is Kelly's debut. She does have a second book out now. This is set in LA so it's kind of holidays but still warm weather which is fun. This follows a really cute plus-sized heroine and her new boyfriend. Well soon to be boyfriend. She's a part-time nanny and an aspiring actress. And then Bowie, our hero, is just adorable. It's very low angst pretty high heat I would say. We have a short king hero which is also very fun. I don't think I've read a lot of short kings in books so like I did appreciate that as well you know and they're just like 12 days. She calls it 12 days of holiday shenanigans and that is exactly what this is. It was so much fun. Highly highly recommend. Then we have Her Naughty Holiday by Tiffany Reese which is one of my all-time favorite Thanksgiving reads. This is one of those ones that like if you've read other Tiffany Reese this is similar but different depending on which Tiffany Reese rice Reese or rice whatever which one you've read. This one features some of my favorite things which is the fact that the heroine basically fake dates this guy because her family's coming to town and she's trying to avoid some of the stuff but they are shit to her and he is like absolutely not. He helps her find the ability to do this and it's so so good. 
so so good i love this one i think this is another great one it's a little bit longer it's a harlequin blaze r.i.p r.i.p harlequin blaze but it is a really fun one to pick up. There's three books in this trilogy. All three of them are really fun. There's a Halloween one and a Christmas one as well. If you haven't read these, highly recommend. All right, let's talk bonkers. So I come to you today with a two semi-normal and one if you really just just need a time to have a time recommendations. For I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to stack these. So first we have Totally Basted by Zoe Indiana. These are really fun shifter series. She has a speed shifter dating series and Totally Basted is a turkey hero. <laughs> and it's listen, it's not amazing and it's not terrible. It's just a good time. I'm not going to say you're going to have like a five-star read, but the first book in this was like a bat shifter. Book two, which is this one, has a turkey shifter. And it's just really funny at the end of the day to me that this exists. And I think the next book is also a turkey shifter, so I might try and read that sooner than later. But this one was just funny. Like, the plot is ridiculous. They're like on the run. This one is... <laughs> it was so weird. But so, so fun. And like, they're very silly. Like, they're going to make you giggle. You're going to have a good time. Now, if you want to read a turkey shifter, but also want to feel deeply concerned for the state of the world in 2015 when this book was published, you could read Stuffed by the Wear Turkey. I will link it down below because it's hard to pull that thing up on Amazon. This is 13 pages, 13 pages of the worst thing I think I've read to date. <laughs> she is protesting outside of a turkey farm and she ends up kidnapping a turkey who then half shifts into a man and they bone. It is so uncomfortable. Okay, if you just want to read something and just be like, wow, wow, I don't know how you came up with this. Stuff by the Word Turkey is your book. Because I still am processing that book. I am still traumatized from that book. So um, have at if you too would like some trauma. But also if you just want to talk to me about it like and read this feel free to dm me and read like as you read this because i would love to hear people's reactions to this book because it is so something it's something uh then on our less bonkers but still a little bonkers front we have hayseed by vera valentine this is a scarecrow based romance around the fall festival this follows our heroine whose partner is abusive so there's some of that on page they get into a fight she kind of gets lost in this corn field and finds a man holding a jack-o-lantern who has hay sticking out of him yeah um there's some great boning the description of his dick in this is fascinating to me and i might have to draw it at some point <laughs> in the fashion that i do sometimes where i will have to draw a thing out um so yeah i might I'm, i might i might draw that for myself just to have a reference but this this was fantastic i really enjoyed this i thought this was really fun i loved the punishment we had for the abusive ex I loved the development for the story like it just it worked really well it was really snappy really good banter really good like consent really good consent on the page this was just super fun so i highly highly recommend you check out hayseed okay and then let's talk about the three books on my tbr for this holiday weekend hopefully i am hoping to read like literally these three specific things i don't know what else i'll read but these are the three that i for sure am prioritizing so first up we have Back for Seconds, which is by Vera Valentine and her co-writing friend, whose name I cannot remember. And honestly, I'm not Googling it right now because I don't want to see reviews for this. This is a Why Choose Shifters from Leftovers in the first person. So you, you are the character. So it's like your name, Vic. All I know is that your family leaves you to go to the movies and make you do all the dishes. And you wish for some help on a wishbone. And lo and behold, do you get some help in the form of leftover shifters. <laughs> I cannot wait. This is going to be so bad. It's so funny. I can't wait. Next, I would like to read Venice Actually by Kelly Reynolds. This is the second book in her Holidays in LA series. I forgot this came out. <laughs> Completely blank this came out. So I'm hoping to pick that up this weekend and get through it quickly. Nice little fun read. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> technically but that's fine i'm still diving in because i liked that first book so much and i love i'm i'm full on into like holiday reading mode kind of so i'm excited for this and then last but not least i have snow place like la which is by julie murphy and sierra simone this is a this is a novella that came out between the two uh christmas whatever series they're doing i got a free audio for it from them at steamy lit 
So I really want to get to it sooner than later because I'm definitely reading a Holly Jolly Ever After sooner than later as well. So I figured I'd read the novella and then read this. But yeah, that's my like three-ish books. I definitely for sure am reading hopefully over the holiday weekend. They will be in that vlog. But let me know what you're going to pick up this weekend, what recommendations you have. I for sure love a themed book around these times that fit into like what is happening. So I'm always curious. Uh, and if you have any you would like to see me read, let me know down below. And if you don't do any of that, leave me a, is there a pie emoji? Leave me a pie emoji in the comments because I will be eating lots and lots of chocolate pie this weekend. Uh, I can't wait. I don't eat pumpkin pie, so I will be eating the other pie. Anyways, you do that down below. I'll have links to all these books for you. So those links to be my friend anywhere on the internet and I will talk to y'all in just a few days. Bye. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is.